I see we have a new acquisition. Is it a Protoss device? That's right. But I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. It's a Kaderan Ehan crystal. It's a memory storage device. It lets you experience what other people have seen or done. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yet you don't fear it at all. You're a fascinating man, Jim Rayner. You know more about the Protoss and the Zerg than any of the experts I've read about. Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Portos. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion. The battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. So now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? They got their hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. We came to the right place. We're rocking some serious heavy metal now that we got siege tanks. Yes, sir. The comforting thunder of the big guns. Well, comforting when they're on our side. Yeah, these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move. And reinforced armor. So long as they still got the range in siege mode, the rest is just gravy. Between siege tanks and bunkers, we can hold the line against just about anything. this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh, how much did you have to drink tonight, sir? He was here, Matt, and he was hurt. On the run from something. Where is he now, sir? I don't know, but he ain't on the ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal, and he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen.
My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ire are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen. With all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. I ain't gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save them. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base, Ariel. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. located the Protoss Nexuses that are channeling power to the Purifier Shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the Purifier. Bad news? What's going on? Some of the colonists didn't make it to our base in time. We should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. By the numbers, boys. Add-on, complete. Add-on, complete. Aye, aye, sir. Add-on, complete. Yes. 
CV ready. Sir, the purifier has arrived and is on the move. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Who wants some? Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Kaboom, baby! The purifier's coming into range of a colony base. Minerals. Not enough minerals. It's go time. Yeah, yeah. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. You got it. Armed and ready. This better be good. That's fine. We'll do. Fight or flight? Yeah, right. Sir, I'm detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. Job, huh? Yes, sir. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Commander, a Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. Got a whole lot of love. Why not? Sure. Sure thing. Upgrade complete. Let's do this. I'm all about that. It's go time! Be 
ready. Thanks, Rainers Raiders. We're getting out of here. Don't leave me hanging. The colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the Purifier's path. The colonists left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. Not enough minerals. Base is under attack. In the rear with the gear. SCV ready. Yep. You gonna give me orders? SCV ready. Armed and ready. Sure. Aye, aye, sir. SCV ready. Gangway. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Huh? Not enough minerals. Who wants some? SCV ready. Been waiting on you. Don't leave me hanging. The Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. Ready to blunder. Goliath online. The Grim Reaper has arrived. Go on. SCV ready. Let's do this. Insufficient Vespine gas. Insufficient best yeah. gas. Bad news. Gotcha. Big job, huh? In the rear with the SCV ready. Energy output is peaking. The Protoss are going to destroy the second colony base. The Grim Reaper has arrived. SCV ready. Made for battle. Just say where. Oh. 
Additional supply depots required. That's one Nexus down. Keep at it, boys. We gotta stop that ship. Warning. Protoss squadron detected approaching colonist settlement. Gotcha. Time for wasting. Additional supply depots required. Let's get into the fight. SCV ready. Oh. Fight or fight? Yeah, right. Uh, uh, that was a close one. Thanks. The colonists have successfully evacuated that settlement. Insufficient Vespian gas. You want a piece of me, boy? Huh? Uh huh. In the rear with the gear. Ah! It scared me! Insufficient Vespian gas. SCB ready. Insufficient Vespine gas. Let's have a blast! Insufficient Vespine gas. Add on. Complete. Insufficient Vespine gas. Ready to plunder. SCV ready! By the numbers. SCV ready. Oh, Additional God. supply depots required. Armed and ready. They've almost reached the next base. Hurry! I'm on it. You gonna give me orders? Looking forward to it. Additional supply depots required. In the rear with the gear. Roger. Another Nexus gone. Great work. Don't give them a chance to regroup. I feel you. I've been waiting on you. Can't hold them alone. You want a piece of me, boy? By the numbers, boy. The Grim Reaper has arrived. So. Upgrade complete. Gangway. 
They'll fire on the settlement any second now. Get clear! Not enough minerals. Armed and ready. Go, go, go! Got it. You gonna give me orders? It's go time! Goliath online. This better be good. Warning. Protoss squadron detected approaching the final colonist settlement. Ready to plunder. Ready to plunder. Thank you! Those Protoss almost got us! Excellent work. The colonists in that settlement have been evacuated. That's fine. Affirmative. Of course. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. minerals. Mineral field depleted. Who wants some? Upgrade complete. Gangway coming through. Fire shields are offline, sir. Hit it now. Armed and ready. Upgrade complete. Gangway coming through. Who wants some? Estimate Protoss arrival at the next colony base within 20 seconds, sir. Ready to blunder. Oh, you gonna give me orders? You want a piece of me, boy? You better send some body bags. The purifier sent our units into a dimensional warp field. The effect should only be temporary, though. The Protoss are retreating! You've done it! You are as cunning as the stories say, James Raynor. I hope your belief in these colonists will be vindicated.
guess this is goodbye, Doc. Well, you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. You know, you could always stay here. Settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we've begun. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. I ain't that good. Welcome back. We've got good and bad news tonight from our UNN headquarters on Korhal. The influx of refugees has dropped as various fringe worlders have found new planets on which to settle. For the bad news, let's go to Kate Lockwell. Kate? What? Is, is, is the feed open? Hi. Uh, yes. Hi, Donnie. Well, many of the refugees are starting new colonies, and they've declared themselves independent of the Dominion. Branding themselves as rebels. Well, Donnie, they mostly seem like regular folks who are scared about the current crisis and angry that the Dominion didn't do more to save them. Some of them have praised Jim You Ray heard it here first. Ungrateful rebels digging in their heels across the fringe worlds. For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. Can he warn me when he's gonna do that? Funny how people take it personal when you abandon them to the Zerg. Damn shame Doc Hanson stayed behind. She was just about to fall for my roguish charms, too. You ain't gonna tell me you weren't just a little bit tempted to stay with her, are you? I've been down that road before, Tychus. I took my shot at a normal life a long time ago. Ain't no going back now. <laughs> Couple of badasses like us ain't cut out for the quiet life anyway. Yes, sir. Destiny's got us pegged for something way bigger. Lots of folks ready to fight. For the right price. I'm pleased to see these things haven't blown up the ship. Yet. Uh, sir, given the visual similarity between the various pieces, have you considered that they might combine to create a larger, more distinct object? With everything else going on, Stedman, I couldn't care less what they do. Just that we... Better future. Let's hope that's what Ariel's people find on Haven. Man, did you see the size of that Protoss ship? Don't matter how often I see them, those guys always come out with something that makes your jaw drop. You know what I'm saying? I'd be more impressed if they were using all that power against the Zerg. It's stupid to be killing Protoss when we should be teaming up with them against Kerrigan. Listen, they deserved it, and you did the right thing. Friends don't let friends massacre civilians, Jim. I'm proud of you for standing up to them. <laughs> 